Hey everyone, it's Colin again. It's been 10 months, so I just feel like banging this out because I'm bored right now. This video is just going to be talking about the differences between keyboard and controller because a lot of people ask and they want to know like, oh, is one better than the other? Should I use one over the other? And I just want to cover that right here. All right, just starting off really quick, I do want to say I am a controller player. Uh, it's just what I prefer. I've been playing this game for like six years, I think. Yeah, six years. I just use controller from the start. I used keyboard for a little bit. I didn't feel it was comfortable though. And yeah, I've been playing with controller ever since. And I haven't had any issues with it. I've played at the top level. I've won at the top level. I've won tournaments before and all that. All right, starting off with the controller because it's what I use. If you already have played like 2D games on controller, it will feel pretty natural. Uh, just because it translates over really well, especially if you use a joystick for movement because pretty much every single top player uses joystick. There are no exceptions to that. There's like mid-level players that use D-pad. I don't even know if they're around anymore though because I haven't played tournaments in a while. But yeah, use joystick if you're on a controller, if it's comfortable for you. We're going to talk about controller because that's what I use. All right, first things first, I think controller is a lot easier than keyboard, especially at the lower level. At the higher level, I think it, the differences kind of close up. So when you're first starting Duck Game, the big things are like, it's hard to move because it's hard to get a feel in a platform fighter. Usually it's pretty open and you don't have to worry about like bumping into stuff and it's pretty generous about where you're going. With Duck Game though, it's extremely responsive. So if you mess up stuff all the time, like near ledges and stuff, you're gonna fall off the map. You're gonna miss jumps and stuff like that. But on a controller, since you're just using your thumb to move around, I think it's a lot easier to coordinate just physically in your mind and all that because it's just straightforward to move your thumb to go right or left and all that, and you can like control your speed. You don't really control your speed all that much. But yeah, I think it's a lot easier to coordinate at the start uh, for movement specifically. There's also other things like your strafe button by default is your left bumper. So I can just move around like this really comfortably. My thumb is at the exact same spot. None of your hand, none of your like buttons overlap or anything like some do on keyboard. So it's very natural to do things like strafe and ragdoll because those are just the bumpers. The only thing I think is a drawback of the default controls on controller is the uh, four buttons are all kind of in a weird spot because, I mean, you're using your thumb for all that stuff, and if you're doing complicated things, it can get in the way. So I personally have shoot bound a trigger, but I think that you shouldn't do that because the majority of controller players, like pretty much every single person except for me, uses default controls, and they all do, like, great. Just use whatever's comfortable when it comes to control schemes. If you're on controller, I definitely recommend default. If that doesn't work for you, uh, rebind shoot to your trigger. It won't matter unless you get to extremely high levels of the game. Another benefit of controller is, again, it's pretty much attributing it to its simplicity of what you're doing is really straightforward. With throwing items, for example, the way it works in Duck Game is if you're standing still, you'll do a light throw. If you're running, you'll do like a harder throw. And if you're running and you hold up at the same time, you'll throw it high and throw it far. So I'll do it like over here. It goes really far. I think it's a lot easier to like understand on controller because if you try it on keyboard from controller, it feels unnatural, especially for hard up throws because on a joystick, it's very simple. Like if I'm doing an up throw, okay, I'll just hold up on the joystick and that's fine. On keyboard, it's still a button, but it gets more complicated when you put in more inputs. Like if you're running around, you want to do that. Uh, it's kind of weird to do that abruptly. And uh, if you're hard throwing, it's especially annoying because you have to press up uh, while running, and then also uh, throw it. And if you're using jumping up on the same key, I guess it's perfectly fine, but if you're using it on different keys, which the majority of players are, uh, it becomes more and more annoying to do stuff like that. You have to use like more brain power. Whereas on controller, I think it's pretty subconscious to get used to that stuff really fast. One thing I do wanna say really quick is that in the old days of Duck Game, like 2015 through maybe 2017, I would say. The majority of players that were good pretty much just use controller. Like, even today, there's still a lot of controller players. I think it's more dominated by keyboard now, in my opinion. But the majority of players use controller that were very good back in the day. And I think the main reason for that is just because it was much easier to get used to and people didn't have thousands of hours yet to where keyboard starts showing its benefits. And so yeah, unless you're planning to become like the next top player or something, uh, you'll be perfectly fine on controller. I think you'll even do better on controller unless you dedicate a ton of time to it because you will not be limited by controller until so much later into the game that it will not matter for almost everyone. And still top players use controller, although most of them use keyboard. All right, let's talk about mashing. So there's some key differences of with uh, mashing on controller and keyboard. And the main difference is it is just faster on keyboard. Like if you're doing the exact same inputs, they're gonna be the same. 
There's not some random stupid crap in the code that makes keyboard objectively faster for that. But if you bind a shoot or jump to spacebar, then it makes those a lot faster to mash if you're doing something like getting out of a net or reloading a gun. Like uh, I'm gonna reload this rocket launcher on a controller really quick. So I'm gonna shoot that and I'm gonna reload it as fast as I can. And that was still really fast, um, but if you're doing it on a keyboard, you can reload it much faster. I'm gonna be kind of slow because I'm not very good at mashing on keyboard. So I'll shoot that. And yeah, that was a really fast reload, much faster than on controller. The difference is very minimal there. I think it's a lot more noticeable for things like nets though. So I'll give myself a net gun. Keyboard's gonna be loud, but yeah, I'll mash out of this on a controller. I'm mashing really fast, probably maybe, and that was pretty good. And then here's on keyboard. And yeah, it's a tad faster. I'm kind of slow on keyboard and I'm kind of fast on controller, so it's pretty biased for me. Keyboard is just faster to mash out of. Another thing keyboard is just better for is doing tech fast. So for moving tech, like ragdoll jumps and whatnot, you can do that perfectly fine on a controller. You can be just as fast, but for things that are very input heavy, like spamming angles really fast, keyboard is so much better. It's not even close. Like if you're using a joystick, just think about it. Like if I were to spam this, I'd have to like turn my thumb back and forth over and over and over, like moving it back and forth. And some people can do this really fast. I am not one of them. And even the ones that can do it fast are not as fast as the ones that can do it on keyboard nor as precise. So if you're on a keyboard, the main thing is the game lets you turn while you're moving one way. So if I hold left and then hit right and I'm holding right, I'll look right and I can do this. And you can see pretty fast that if I were to like grab a gun and then do that, I could spam really fast to the right or to the left, it doesn't matter. You can do it both ways. There used to be a bug where you couldn't, but now you can. So I can do that to the right, I can do that to the left. And yeah, if you're able to spam angles so much faster on a keyboard, you're able to be much more precise about it. And you can do it on controller, it's much more uncomfortable and honestly kind of harder on the hands. So yeah, keyboard is just objectively better for things like angle spamming. Another thing actually is, for certain weapons, you have to release to shoot them, like the phaser. And that can be kind of annoying for uh, angling on a controller because it's really weird to do the release timing while turning your hand like that for the uh, turn input on the left. Whereas on a keyboard, I think it's more natural just from what I've seen to do that, especially when you mix it in with spamming, like with the grenade launcher specifically, the map that has it, the forest map, you're able to mash it like do angles with it where you just shoot it up to the ground like that. On keyboard, you can just mash it really, really fast and just nonstop bombard people. Whereas on a controller, you can still kind of do it, but it's harder to keep the momentum with it. Just, I don't know, it might, be a, it might be a skill issue over here, but I haven't seen many controller players be able to do that very fast. Usually they're able to do like a couple of them at a time, but doing them consistently in a row, especially to gain height is extremely difficult on controller. Last thing is the sword. So I'm gonna get myself a sword here. So the only thing with the sword is when you're on keyboard, doing stabs is much easier. So if I do a stab on a controller, what I do is I have to hold down and then I hold left while holding down and I do a stab here. If I try and do it fast, I might mess up and like walk off to the left and I've messed up my stab, which can be really bad if you're like trying to get someone that's close to you or something, you know, you have to get the stab out fast because they have armor or something. So that's one drawback and it can get really annoying for things like uh, sword climbs, uh, like, <laughs> there we go, got it. Um, it can be really annoying for stuff like that because you have to keep your hand in that spot while mashing it and if you move it out even for a second you'll mess up the entire thing or you'll just be like crouching and not doing anything or you'll walk away and that can make it really annoying on controller whereas if you're doing it on keyboard it is very easy because you're going to be holding down the entire time you do that for example um, so I can just do that very easily like no thoughts I just hold down I hold the opposite direction I stab and yeah, it's very simple because I just, you're pressing two buttons rather than doing a precise controller input. So it's much easier to stab, it's much easier to do release angles, it's much easier to do angles fast, and those are the main benefits of keyboard. There are extremely niche things where keyboard is also better, and there are some extremely niche things where a controller is better, but the best thing about controller is that you can do this, and the keyboard players can never do this. They will never take that away from you. And you can do this. Ooh, that's awesome. But yeah, with that stuff in mind, a lot of people will think they should just use the input that's best or something like that. 
and I think one is objectively better than the other. And I think, in all honesty, there is no objective best. People have gone extremely far on controller. Some of the best players are on controller. Um, like, God, like, yeah, like me, sure, whatever. I'm, <laughs> I'm one of the best players on controller. Uh, there's like Rave, there's Firefox, there's Mr. Duck, uh, there's Prosecutor. Plenty of people have gone very far on controller and pretty much held the crown for large tournaments without problems. So you should just use what's comfortable. If you like using a keyboard and it works fine for you, just use a keyboard. And if you're used to controllers and controllers work well for you, you should use a controller. I think if you have the choice though, and they both feel about the same, I'd probably use keyboard. Yeah, I'd probably use keyboard if they both felt about the same to me for comfort but I find controller so much nicer in terms of comfort that there's no way I could get as good as I did on a keyboard that I did controller. So even if I get held back by very specific texts that I can't do well on a controller, everything else is so much harder on a keyboard for me personally that it's so much easier on a controller, I'd rather use a controller. So yeah, just fiddle around with both, and whatever works for you is what you should use. It doesn't matter. All right, anyways. Uh, thanks for watching. That's pretty much the entire video. Uh, not much more to say. You can use a box style controller too. I guess I didn't talk about those. They're basically the exact same thing as keyboards though, so don't put too much thought into that. And yeah.